How do you find the solution of a non-homogeneous state equation? Well, my name is Rishi Ramju and welcome to the Backwards Azure community where I make Azure easy for you. So, let us ask ourselves that obvious question. How do you find the solution of a non-homogeneous state equation? Well, let's find out. So, in the case of a non-homogeneous state equation, we obtain two solutions. One is a homogeneous solution and the other one is a forced solution. So, in the case of a particular control system, let us consider the state equation given as x dash of t is equal to a into x of t plus b into u of t. This is a state equation in the case of a particular control system. So here, let us now take this particular a into x of t term towards the left hand side. So taking this over here, we would get x dash of t minus a into x of t is equal to b into u of t. Very simple. So now, next, let us simply just multiply both these sides by e raised to minus a t. So multiplying both these sides by e raised to minus a t. So upon multiplying e raised to minus a t on both the sides, we would now get e raised to minus a t into x dash of t minus e raised to minus a t into a into x of t is equal to e raised to minus a t multiplied by p into u of t. But here, when we observe this particular side over here, that is e raised to minus a t into x dash of t minus e raised to minus a t into a into x of t, what we observe is that here it obeys the form of differentiation. That is, we know for a fact that d by dt of ab is nothing but a into d by dt of b plus d by dt of a into b. So, this is the differentiation rule of multiplication. So, here, when we replace a and b by e raised to minus at and x of t, what we observe is that d by dt of e raised to minus a t into x of t is nothing but first term into differential of the second term that is e raised to minus a t into x dash of t plus now here the differentiation of the first term into second term that is the differentiation of e raised to minus a t is nothing but e raised to minus a t into minus a so therefore, this plus becomes minus. So minus e raised to minus a t into this particular term x of t. But this is the same thing we have over here. So therefore, this entire thing can be replaced with this. That is, this is given as d by dt of e raised to minus a t x of t. This is equal to e raised to minus a t into b into u of t. So now, next let us simply just integrate both these sides from 0 to t. So therefore, integrating from 0 to t on both the sides. So upon integrating it from 0 to t on both the sides, what we get is that this particular integral and differentiation would get cancelled. This both would get cancelled. So therefore, on the left hand side, we would get e raised to minus a t into x of t is equal to integral 0 to t into e raised to minus a into here we have to replace this t by tau so e raised to a tau into b into u of tau d tau and here this particular thing it varies from 0 to t over here like this. So let us simply just expand this. Upon expanding this, we would now get, here we have e raised to minus a t x of t from t to 0. So therefore, this would become e raised to minus a t into x of t minus. Now substituting 0 over here, e raised to 0 is 1. So therefore, this becomes x of 0. So this minus x of 0 is equal to integral of this integral 0 to t e raised to minus a tau into b into u of tau d tau. So now let us take this x of 0 over here. Taking this x of 0 over here, this would become x of 0 plus 
this particular term. So now all we have to do is that let us now take this e raised to minus 80 onto this particular side. When we do that, we would now get x of t is equal to e raised to 80 into x of 0 plus integral 0 to t e raised to minus a tau into e raised to a t into b into u of tau d tau. So here, now here on solving this, that is on simplifying this, we would get x of t is equal to e raised to a t into x of 0 plus integral 0 to t e raised to a into t minus tau t minus tau into b into u of tau d tau. So here this particular thing is simply the homogeneous solution and this is the forced solution. So this does is simply how we find the solution of a non-homogeneous state equation. As simple as that guys, we get two solutions. First one is the homogeneous solution and the second one is a forced solution. So this is simply the case of a solution of a non-homogeneous state equation in the case of a forced system. As simple as that guys, there's nothing more to it. So this does is simply how we find the solution of a non-homogeneous state equation in the case of a forced system. As simple as that guys, there's nothing more to it. So I hope you guys now have clear understanding of how you can find the solution of a non-homogeneous state equation of a forced system. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.